Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alapai Omega and the Empire of Japan. So in the last episode uh, we've continued with our strategy of uh, taking over the islands that are left uh, in enemy hands before we invade Hawaii, which is actually heavily defended from what we saw. But so is the Johnston Atoll here, uh, where we are planning the next uh, invasion. And there is, at least as far as we can see, six divisions defending it. And we got eight marine divisions preparing for the attack there. It will take them 22 more days, yep, 22 more days to do so. And right next to the Johnston Atoll, our first fleet is destroying the remains of the American Navy. Actually, they pretty much have nothing left. They get a bunch of ships, we sank most of them. Uh, based on this... Okay, so they got two light cruisers somewhere. It's probably all of their carriers and a bunch of battleships, but that's about it. So after that, their navy has been completely destroyed and will have a free reign to um, prepare for the invasion of Australia. We're also preparing you know, sort of, theoretically, for uh, the attack on the United Kingdom. I have created a lot of extra uh, bomber wings and air wings and coastal support wings here, which are drilling now. And we might actually send these uh, to Germany to support in this attack. But I think that uh, this is going to be so harsh that without at least a bunch of doctrines, uh, we won't have much of a chance to do anything there. But we can still try, we'll see, and it would give us an idea of what we're facing there. Uh, with that said, after we eliminate the American Navy and we take Hawaii, I think I might take the second and third fleet. Hmm. Because there's no point in having the first fleet, uh, you know, operate here at all. So we might actually send it to Europe to blockade uh, United Kingdom and send some submarines there as well. Which would mean we leave second fleet in Hawaii and third fleet supporting the invasion of Australia. I think that would be good. I don't think Australia has any major naval assets to speak of. No, they get just a bunch of ships, so that's fine. What about India? Uh, they have one escort. Okay, so that is fine. The only one that could actually threaten us when it comes to Navy would be United Kingdom, but I think we've disposed of, my, yeah, the Navy. Wow, we actually eliminated all of the enemy navies. That is interesting. <laughs> Well, okay, so that's the plan for the island hopping, or, you know, sort of a plan. And let me see here, who do we have exiled? Okay, so you're the last division. I can tell you the rail. Yep, you're the only division there. Now, where are our motorized... Okay. Tanks. And you guys, the 11th General Army are actually preparing here because I need to put you into the fight with Dominion of India so that we can actually pull out the Light Infantry. Let me see, can we actually put you on the Hugo? Hey, we can! The Heavy, heavy Infantry 1944 template. Okay, so you guys are gonna get some medium tank, medium cool support tanks and assault guns, which is gonna make you just lovely. Compared to the original heavy infantry, 179, 320, heart attack 34, and you guys have 221, 56, 348, breakthrough 145. You have breakthrough of 90. Yeah, and they are way, way better. 
Cool, so that's gonna be fine. And we're going to let you gather here. But I really need all of you to take the rail so that you are prepared. Okay, and at that front, actually, we are fighting for the elimination of the forces here. Another ace pilot promoted. Okay, so how did the battle went? Did we sink some? We sank six carriers and all of their battleships. Jesus Christ. USS Bunker Hill, USS Essex, USS Franklin, USS Ticonderoga, USS Hancock, and USS Enterprise. Enterprise was sank by Congo, actually. And the battleships New Mexico, New York, and Wisconsin. I don't remember Wisconsin, but New York and New Mexico were pretty nice ships. None of them were, and then we lost a one carrier bomber. That's that's just sad. I mean, for them, for us, it's lovely. So that means Americans are now left with what? <laughs> Eleven ships. Okay, we finished snorkel and medium artillery too. So let us now go with an upgrade to the white artillery, which is going to increase soft attack for pack and white artillery. And then we can get this one, which is also pretty good. And then we're going to start looking at the upgraded light cannons. So to that and we're gonna continue with the second improved snorkel. How's the subvisibility? Minus 0.3, this is minus 0.4 and additional 5%. And we need to get the advanced landing craft soon. Okay, I think we can now actually invest some Navy experience into this. And we have we do, because I'm considering recruiting more Rikusantai. They do cost a lot though. So that's 8, 16, 17, and 5, that's 22. So we wouldn't be able to fit two of you. We'll need to deploy some other divisions first. Okay, well, doesn't matter. A divisions are still pretty nice for our intents and purposes. Okay, and this attack stopped again, which is not what I wanted to see, but we don't mind. Because we are still doing a fairly decent amount of damage and we caught on very early. Yep. So this battle will take less than a day, they claim. Okay, you're not gonna be able to come and reinforce in time, so that's good. Yeah, they got massive air superiority here. Okay, so with the new bombers, we have... Oh, this is really nice. I had no idea this was here. Three extra dockyards. Okay, we're gonna go for that right after we get the extra research slot. So, United Fighter Development. For too long have we been plagued by separate development of aviation between the Army and the Navy. We must unify these programs to ensure both uniformity of armament and better use of our limited resources. So we gain an extra research slot and lose a penalty to aircraft research and get a 25% bonus for jet fury. Okay. Now how are we doing here? We need a little bit more iron ore. Ok, 
Okay, three days. You guys will come in six days. Underground contacts. Uh, that is a very nice upgrade to our Intel network strength gain ratio. So let's continue with that one. And I just want to check if that means uh, that you will start getting a little bit more. Because we're, we seem to be locked at 35 and that's far from enough for our purposes. Okay, I need to put you guys into that, put you guys into that, and I'll put you into that as well. It's gonna change the balance of forces significantly. Maybe even enough for us to actually take it. Which would be fine. Not complaining about that. Okay, so you're going to take this remaining prospects okay so here are some light cruisers uh, you guys are still drilling we have a extra submarine here okay you're over here so let me add you there you guys are patrolling here. So we'll need more view here. Yeah, because your effectiveness here is just crap. Yeah, we can't even get there as it turns out. Well, we'll send you there anyway. But we need more submarines. These also all be trained, so I'm gonna attach you to the Coral Sea, so you can do something there. Okay, so how did this battle went, or how it's actually going? It's going very well. Yep, this last division is breaking. Amazing. And do we finally have our tanks over here? We do, and they are fully ready to attack. So let's throw them into the fight, but right they're being met with just exhausted divisions, which we can easily take over. They can pierce us, unfortunately, uh, but that comes from the fact that we really don't have that many tanks here, just medium and white tanks. And I don't think the Type 2 is present at all here, nope. But we have a lot of these ones. How's the Type 2 looking when it comes to production? There was a couple of them at least produced. Yeah, 1.19 per day, okay. So, we're gonna get to about 2.5 eventually. Still, our tanks are performing admirably. If we take this one, then we might actually push towards the river over here. And that's pretty good. Okay, you guys are all supposed to go there. Six days, five hours. Okay, well, this is gonna be fun. This will be an elimination of how many? 7, 8, 9, 10, 14 divisions. And when did we have a battle? Oh, okay, we sank USS Bennington and USS Ohio. Zuya. Well, cool. We continue. I've been eating the last remains. The... Okay, what are you? Okay, you are a garrison. So you're gonna add yourself to the 
second island defense force and you will be put on the line islands over here. And you guys really... The Southern Army, Tanker Army... I wish you could control more divisions. The expert, yeah, the expert delegator would be amazing, but I don't think you're even getting to that, right? Yeah, you aren't. That is bad. Well, what can we do? Because it would be great if he could command them. Together, but unfortunately, that's never gonna happen. Desert Warfare Equipment 1 has been finished. Great, that is just what we needed because we need to start producing that. Uh, okay, radio, we're done with anything in industrial development. It would make a whole lot of sense to produce these. All the civilian works. Hmm. Your career research is continuing, right? Yeah. Um, I'm working on that. Hmm. Anything critical here? Katsu Airborne Assault Actually, let's get these ones. Uh, that is just a really nice upgrade to the Marines. They can be more than just amphibious infantry. In the future, our Marine Corps will be among the most disciplined and organized special forces. So we get a bonus to organization. And what do we need to get you? Type... Type 100. Uh, is that... No, it's not. Type 100. Is it something here? Nope. Katsu Katsukai mm -hmm. I don't know what's the type 100 Well stop, let's get this one and we'll see Oh snap, we failed in this attack Command the goal was, I mean, we can push this unit out easily, that's not an issue, but we really need to keep these guys under control, or they will keep reinforcing here. Just need a little bit more, and we got them. Okay, so our tanks are advancing in here, which will take the airfield from them. I mean, we still don't. 200, 100, 300. Okay, so this is a valuable airfield, but they got. Jesus Christ. Hundreds of aircraft in the air. Okay, with that said, this is actually a really nice opportunity. Katsuaki Kagura gained experience, the leader of the 16th tank army, uh, but no new skill is available. So, we'll see to it that we use that. Okay, let's throw you into there. Okay.
And we can now eliminate these guys. Which will take some time, arguably, but... Or, you know, we can stop it. And start it again. As an elimination fight. And we're still passing this to China. That's interesting. Okay, let me just send you get all of you over there. Okay, go. 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 Take the rail. We want you there as fast as possible. Why is this not an encirclement battle? Will they retreat somewhere? I mean, Tibet is neutral. So I want to lie, I'm a little bit confused about what's going on here, but. Alright, I guess I'll, I'll be a bigger man and not them. Deal with that. Okay, Desert Warfare Equipment. Six factories to start with. Not the garrison. Two from you. Two from you. And two from the carrier fighters. So that ought to ensure that we will start building up a stockpile for what we needed the most. This literally has to be an elimination fight. Uh, yeah, it is. The game is just confused. Horribly, horribly confused. Okay, and you guys will be able to watch this in just a bunch of days. Amazing. There we actually go. And I'm thinking, are we getting to the point where we can actually spare? We can, okay. So this might be the first time that I can actually spare political power and use it to commend my marines. So what can we give you? Recovery rate, supply consumption, division attack, breakthrough. Okay. Attack and breakthrough. That's definitely the right way to go for the beginning. Jesus Christ, they can get so many medals. And what about you? Okay, so we spend a little bit on them. The next level is going to be 18.75. Okay, I think we can do that one as well. So they will have 4% extra breakthrough. That is still very valuable. And you guys... Okay, 4% extra breakthrough and 4% extra attack. Okay, so you guys are going, we shall watch that in real time. Guys, don't stop, just continue the elimination, we need to get rid of them. And how's this looking? It was supposed to be a fun fight. For some reason, you guys decided to stop. 
uh, not happy about that. But let us see you, and I actually think we can easily set the first feet now for naval invasion support. And we're gonna bombard the hell out of this area. Iran has capitulated. Okay, so Germany continues with its campaign. Nice to see that. You will get supported into oblivion. Get in there and support them. I wonder how they'll perform. It's gonna be a rough attack, yeah, but we're winning. Yeah, they don't get any supplies, and we completely control the zone. So they're cut off from the mainland. They will surrender really quickly. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 3.54 million. I wonder how high the numbers are gonna be after this battle is done. Because, oh boy, these are fully equipped American divisions with full manpower and everything. Jesus. No prisoners. No mercy. Okay, so this was about 140,000 men just in this one tiny little island. Jesus. Brutal. Okay, now we need you as a strike force and we need to send a couple of submarines. Yeah, I know I wanted to send them there, but we need to start hunting in this area. So let me create a separate fleet which will have Ice water, iron side, nope. Gentleman ray. Fleet protector. Superior tactician. That one is not bad. Even for submarines. But. There are certainly better ones. Like this one, spotter. Okay, so you have just gotten yourself. Uh, consumer expert and season spotter. Okay, so this is gonna be yet another submarine fleet. So fourth blue navy fleet. We're gonna be stationed here, and your. Task is going to be convoy raiding in Hawaii. And we're going to see how badly we can screw up their concentration. Okay, so that's looking really good. What about here? You gotta be kidding me. Really? We stopped? Okay, this is happening as well. You guys need to get in here. So advancing into India, terrain making it so much more easier. Okay, let's change your symbol to submarines as well. And I hate this color. I hate it so much. OK, 
Okay, let's put it like this. And we'll see what they're gonna do here. I'm pretty certain... Okay, they got... Um, well, we have the spotters available for that job. Okay, you can... Support... Not this fleet. Not to this fleet, you can actually create an entire new one. Um, okay. You're no longer gonna be drilling, and you are going to be a submarine one. And this. Oh no, you're in the wrong place. And then submarine torpedoes. Okay, so wrong one. You're gonna go here. That's where we need you for convoy raiding. Get in there. Oh, and we finished the torpedoes. So now we can get. Hmm. Some drawing torpedoes. This is something that I desire. Instead, we can get this streamlined submarine, I think. So let's get that. And you finished the housing project. So you can get us Hospital 4, which lowers attrition. And what are we constructing? Okay, two tank assembly plants for working on the ports. Another power plant, though we get energy. Way under control, finishing an artillery plant in Tokyo, and then it's gonna be in Hokuriko and Hokkaido a recruitment camp. Cool, so that's pretty nice. So, thank you very much for joining me now. See you in the next episode.